Major magic plan announcement today. Let's get started. Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. You might have noticed that Magic Plan looks new and improved. Well, I'm really excited to discuss some of those changes with you in this video here today. We'll go over things like our new UI update, our new estimator, our new file management experience, as well as our photo capturing and photo management experience. So I've got the home screen pulled up here at Magic Plan, but before we jump in, there's two things that I wanna highlight before we get started. First and foremost, what you see on the iOS, this iPad device right here, is going to look the exact same on an Android device. The UI is going to be the exact same across iOS and Android moving forward. Secondly, there's going to be a continuous sync of your data across the devices that you're working with. So whether you're on your iPad or your iPhone, as you're taking photos, as you're making changes, you'll be able to quickly swap over to your other device and continue working on the new device. So here on the home screen, you're going to notice that this looks very familiar to what you already know and love, but there's a couple key differences I wanna highlight. First and foremost, the favorites section. This is gonna help you easily identify projects that are extremely relevant for you so you don't have to navigate your entire project overview. Secondly, we've added some branding options. You'll see up here in the top left next to your workspace, you'll be able to see your company logo so that it's a little bit more personalized of an experience in Magic Plan. Now let's jump into a project in Magic Plan. So I'm gonna pull this one up and this is where you're gonna see a lot of the exciting UI changes. The first thing you'll notice is that your project details is now on a panel on the left side. This is where your address, where your project name, your project description, forms access, all of these things are gonna live right here on the left side panel. But over on the right, this is where a lot of the magic is happening. We have a floor plan section with access to all of the different floors in your floor plan. A photo section where all of your photos that you capture or upload are going to be stored an estimate section, because now we support multiple estimates on a project, and last but not least, a file section, where all of your generated and uploaded files will exist. So now let's break down these sections one by one, starting with project details. This is really familiar with what you're already used to, right? So we have the project overview here, project name, description, author, as well as some job details that I added from the cloud. Super easy to navigate, really easy to use. One thing I'm excited about is statistics are much more accessible. We won't go into detail right here today, but just so you know, it's right here on the project details section for you. And last but not least, forms. These are the forms that you know and love with one key improvement, a full screen experience. This is something I'm personally really excited about, and I hope you guys are too. So now let's jump out of project details and let's go into the floor plan. This is gonna look super familiar for you guys. The only thing to note is some of the UI elements have shifted location for easier accessibility, but for the most part, nothing different here. But when you go into a room and you're adding objects, like I know a lot of you do, I wanted to highlight how easy it is to drag and drop multiple objects into your floor plan. If you're familiar with our old methodology, sometimes you would have to select the object, you would have to drop it, go back into the object menu. That's not a problem anymore. You just drag and drop, and then it takes you right back into the object selector UI. So now let's jump out of the floor plan and let's go over to the photo section. This is one of the sections I'm extremely excited about. We actually have a couple of things to cover here today. So I'll click back, and first we're gonna start with the photo capturing experience. So I click that plus sign, I click camera, and different than the past, I can actually select where I wanna add this photo straight from the camera experience. So I have a project level, a floor level, or a room within those floors. I can add the photos directly to where I want them to be in the project. I'm gonna add these at the project level. And since we're in the studio, I'm just gonna capture a couple photos. Let's get one of our cameraman, Fernando Smile. Great. And you might've noticed that's different than how it used to be. In the past, I had to take a photo, say use this photo, and then capture another one. Now I just capture photos, photos, photos. But there's also a couple options that I think are really important to highlight. First and foremost, we have an overlay timestamp option, which is going to add a little timestamp with the date right in the bottom right of the photo by default. Super important when you're documenting damages and you wanna make sure you're capturing when and exactly what time you captured that photo. Also, we have some settings 
torch mode. This is going to turn on the flashlight for you. So when you're in a dark space, you can capture photos with a little bit of light. Super helpful when the power's out, a catastrophe situation, you need to capture these photos. And last but not least, we have an overhauled markup system. This is proper photo editing built right into Magic Plan. One of the cool features I like, say Fernando didn't want his face to be in this photo, I have the redact option. I can just drag and drop a square, click done, and it's gonna save that photo with that portion of the photo blurred out. This is really cool and really helpful for those of you that are capturing lots of photos and then need to mark up those photos after the fact. So after you're done capturing photos, we can hop over to the photo gallery. So I go back to this photo section, I select see all, and first and foremost, you have a couple options for how you organize this in the top right. I personally really like date created. I think it creates a very intuitive timeline of the experience as you were building out this project. So you'll see here in the top left, I have all of my photos from today, September 17th, but we also added some photos a week ago on the 10th, and you'll see that these are all organized by location within the project as well. So not only do you have that date indication, but you also have a location indicator for directly where in the floor plan that is. You still have the timestamps, you have the specific rooms right beneath the photo. And this is super cool to me. And remember how I talked about the continuous sync of data earlier in the video? Well, as you're capturing photos, if somebody else is using Magic Plan on a different device, or they're back in the office accessing this from the cloud, they're going to see your photos as you capture them and save them to the photo gallery. We're really trying to support the seamless collaboration experience between you and your colleagues. So after you've captured all your photos, you've reviewed them in your photo gallery, what do you do with this information? Well, obviously you wanna share it with your customers, you wanna share it with your peers. So we have a couple export options for you. I'll select here in the top right. We have a web gallery option. This is gonna publish a web URL that you can share. And we have a PDF option. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the PDFs that I've created. The cool thing about this photo PDF that I'll share is that all of these photos are fully interactable. So I can click on a photo and it's going to pull up a high resolution version of that photo. I think this is really helpful when you're sharing information about a project, whether it's with a customer, whether it's with a colleague. Now they have access to all of the photos that you've captured all within one report. So we've covered everything with photos that I wanted to discuss. Now I have one short and sweet update for you and it's regarding estimates within Magic Plan. Now we're going to have an entirely separate video that goes into full detail about the new estimator and all of its capabilities. But the important thing to note here in this video today is that now we support multiple estimates on a project. You'll see here that I have three options to select from and all of these estimates have different statuses so that I can track whether this is in draft, whether it's something I've sent to the customer or whether it's actually been accepted by the customer. This is a really intuitive way for you to manage all the different versions of your estimates that you prepare and what is the current status of those estimates. So we covered estimates, now we're gonna move over to file management. So as I'm navigating to file management, first thing I wanna say, did you guys know that you have unlimited storage with Magic Plan? So if you have physical copies of your documents, store them digitally with Magic Plan. You don't have to worry about running out of space. But moving into the file section directly, we have all of the files that you generate in Magic Plan, just like we always have. We have some options to easily filter by file types. This is an improvement, whether it's ESX, whether it's PNG, FML, PDF, you have the option to quickly identify these. But a huge improvement that we have is that you can now upload files into Magic Plan projects. Do you have a contract, an invoice, some relevant document that you need to access within your project in Magic Plan? Just upload it directly into Magic Plan. Do you not have a digital copy? Just come down here and select scan document. You can just scan that PDF. You can upload it directly into your Magic Plan project. And then the icing on the cake. This is one of my favorite things in the whole update. Now you can mark up and edit your PDFs. Just like your photos, we've introduced markups to these PDFs. So if you wanna add an arrow, you wanna write something in on the PDF, or by selecting content editor, you can remove aspects of the PDF that you simply just don't like or don't need. So if I don't need this QR code, just select delete, it's gone. 
This gives you full customization over your PDFs directly within Magic Plan. As you can see, there's a lot of exciting changes that have taken place in Magic Plan. We're going to be releasing a lot of new content going over each one of these sections I discussed here today in great detail. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of that new content. Have a great day.